Hi, in this video we're going to talk about details about Open Subdivision integrated into Blender. And let's start looking into what Open Subdiv is about. It's actually about uh, being used in animation software in order to make animation playback real time while you're ani animating your character. There are a couple of limitations coming from this uh, assumption. Namely, your topology cannot be changed. It can be changed, but then you don't gather any speed up from open subdiv. It will recalculate the wall mesh for you. It also means that you don't actually get any speed up when you're sculpting. This is because of different workflow. While we are sculpting, you usually apply multi-resolution modifier, which calculates subdivisions only once, and then only applies displacement on them. This is how Blender currently works, and this cannot be changed with using open sub subdiv library. It only be, can be usable if you use low res mesh and you subdivide it with subdivision modifier and then sculpt. And in this case, sculpting actually takes on base mesh. And this is not so much common workflow to work with, so Open Subdiv supports multiple backends. It can run on CPU, on GPU using CUDA, or OpenCL and GLSL, so it's a full variety of different hardware which could be supported. It's not limited to NVIDIA as somebody assumed in previous comments. In order to have GPU tessellation in place you need to have subsurf modifier last in your modifier stack. If you have modif a subsurf modifier somewhere in between it will be CPU only and you don't get any speed up of in this case. Let's look into Blender, how it looks like. Uh, here I've got 2.70a release with uh, Adult Dragon from Sintel. And currently it runs at 0.2 FPS, which is not great at all. And open the open branch and open the same file. And as you can see, pre-processing still takes a re a quite a while, but once all the calculation is done, you can have pretty much acceptable uh, FPS and currently it uses CPU backend. In order to have play with this, you just go to user preferences and by the way, don't do this while playback. There are some still issues in the code which are still to be solved and you'll have crash if you go into user preference while we're playing back. You can play back now and currently it's using CPU backend. You can use uh, whatever backend you want to. And when you change backend, it recalculates mesh again. You can put from the backend really easy. In this computer, it doesn't make a huge difference. But let's use OpenCL. Oh, by the way, it was like around 6, 8 FPS on CPU only. And if you use OpenCL, it becomes like around 30 FPS. You can also choose CUDA, and with CUDA it will be around 40, 35-40 FPS, and it's a uh, GTX 580 car. Ah, and by the way, it's uh, 2 million faces on high-res model in all cases. So all Blender was using 2 million faces, and new ones on GPU also use 2 million faces. Well, not on GPU, but in all the backends. And if you have card without supporting CUDA or OpenCL, it can be all GLSL. In the future, we are thinking about like implementing like automatic way to distinguish which capabilities you've got them and use most of them. Let's show the rigging. And actually, another limitation currently is you cannot easily see that stuff. Selection buffer is not like supports open subject currently and you have like some luck so just go to wireframe mode which is going to display nothing for now it will be sold in the future but it's good enough for purposes of demonstration and I select some bone and I can start tweaking it like I'm not the best ever animator but as you can see you got like real runtime feedback about what you are doing with the pose and you got smooth moving viewport and your tricks to the rig are real smooth and yeah oh I didn't save the thing so 
that comes on all that thing. So as you can see, posing is runtime, you can keyframe this and playback like real time. And for and you will change the topology you get like real cool FPS. And this current state it's not the fastest as it can be because it's still quite a lot of overhead happening on CPU because the legacy pipeline of drawing stuff in Blender. It will be cleaned up at the time when we are ready to merge into master branch. But for now, we are, it's going to be an open 75 branch. And if you want to have played with this model, uh, it, it's available in my FTP on Blender.org. The link would be in the description of the video, so you can easily download it and have a play. And I think this is about it for now. So hope you enjoyed this little video and as always have a nice day.